the level one. Today we have a 2014 Ford Escape. We are replacing a body control module. We have a br brand new one that came from the dealer. And um, using the FJDS, we are going to try to program this module in. Uh, there are a couple of different procedures after the programming. We're gonna go through them as well, okay? Um, since this is a brand new module, um, I'm gonna program it with the on FJDS using a J-Box. And uh, um, I'll show you guys one second. J-Box. AE's, um, AEZ Flasher 3 or Cardac Plus 3 is the same product actually. All right, so um, we have the original one still installed on the vehicle. Okay, um, before we go ahead, actually, I'll just show you guys. We have two keys like this, okay? Um, it's good that we have two keys in stock because uh, keys are stored actually in the BCM, in the body control module. We will have to reprogram both of them and we will need to have at least two keys to be able to start the vehicle again. So let's go ahead and um, launch the FJDS. After programming, we usually have to do uh, tire pressure sensors relearn and um, a couple other uh, minor stuff, a couple adjustments we have to do. We will also get through them one by one. All right, I'm gonna cancel this. It's not the car that I'm working on right now. Blue session of that. I don't need to go back to that vehicle. All right, so FJD is um, it's opened up. And by the way, guys, uh, of course, you guys need to have a valid subscription uh, for the FJDS software, or else you will not have communication to the vehicle. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead, and, and I would have selected my J box. The same was previous session. Do you wish to abort and restore the session? No, I was on this car at one point. Uh, they have brought another body control module, but that body control module was also faulty. So um, it was even a lot worse than the one they have right now. So they had to buy another one from the dealer. That's why it's pulling up the same VIN number. I'm just gonna cancel this one. I wanna create a brand new session. That is my vehicle, correct? We just have to wait right now until it gathers all the data. I'm gonna leave this blank. And that's optional if you would like to use it to label the label the work that you're doing. Okay, the cards identified properly, identified totally properly. So in here, I'm um, just gonna go to module programming. If you want, you could just want to self test before, but I know what's going on with the vehicle. I don't feel the need to do that. But if you just come into the car the first time, you should definitely do a little self-test before you start any kind of programming and see what actually is going on with the car before you end up in some type of trouble. And um, we're gonna go to programming module installation. And um, we're gonna go, go and select um, BCM. Ignition is on. That's the correct win number. Press enter. Yes. All right. Um, I don't know why it just tells me to install the new module. It didn't even tell me to turn ignition off. That's kind of weird. Let me go ahead and do what it's asking me to do, and I will continue. I just um, installed the new module, and I pressed OK, and it just gathered some data. That's when I just started recording again. One thing took my attention. Even though ignition is on, the cluster is totally off. As you see, um, Atom is on. That's about it. So um, we're gonna try right now, press OK, see what happens. Ignition is on position right now.
waiting, waiting, and waiting. I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to do at the moment, I'm trying to communicate with the module or not. It is just weird that the ignition is turned on and there is no type of um, no lights in the system at all. data installation is complete PCMIC is now properly installed ready to go parameter resets mission data okay all right let's do that so um when I is still off but it's still on and still nothing is on gonna go to has built data um BCM see if that makes any change that's the correct win number Yes, it is. All right, let it find the net file on the network. All right, it was able to download it as built data. All right, I'm not sure what was that, but I'm just gonna do this one more time. I'm just gonna push it on it. I'm gonna press no this time. Alright, no problem, continue. Gonna do automatic, let it find it on the network. Alright. Ignition is on. No configuration right now. But it's somehow module complication is completed. Ignition is turn ignition off. Ignition is off. Enter. That's it. So nothing. That's weird. So um, I figured it out. Basically, once the programmable module installation is done, we will have to go to programmable parameters. Okay, and then go to uh, car configuration parameters. Ignition is on. That's the correct win number. And we will have to run two different functions in here under the vehicle configuration menu. The first one, retrieve the vehicle configuration data. And the last one, retrieve PTS or at least derived SBO data. After these two functions are um, ran properly, okay, which is also on uh, two different programmings separately um the ignition will turn on as you see everything will come back on all right um now from here um <clears throat> i want to start this way call but um we cannot start it at the moment uh because we need to do a parameter reset first and then we need to program the two keys into the car um so to do that i'm gonna switch off from the fjds to my um im608 and continue with that so we're gonna continue with the um im608 Go to immobilizer, select the wake hole, go to detection, for USA. Okay. Um, battery is kind of running low. Before I start the parameter reset, I'm gonna um, basically um, check that power line. Make sure we have a good voltage. So go to um, bladed key. That's what I have, and I do have two keys, guys. If you don't have, if you do not have two keys, it will not work. It's a must. And um, we're gonna go to control unit, immobilizer can, and then we're gonna go to here parameter reset. Once we finish up the uh, parameter reset, um, we're gonna program the two keys. Um, anytime we are changing, replacing a module in the vehicle. Um, that is associated with the immobilizer system or PATS system, we have to run parameter reset. So go ahead and do it. Is. I believe to do, do, to do it with the FJDS, we will, it will require an SID or locksmith license ID number or an ASTAF account. That's an active one to get the job done. So that's why I'm just continuing off at the um, hotel right now. It's gonna um, 
uh, remarried uh, all, all the system together right now, BCM and the rest of the immobilizer system. Um, within ten, after the 10 minutes, and then we're gonna program the two keys and we're set to go. Okay guys, I actually got caught up and forgot to record the rest of the um, programming, but which was very simple. Um, the parameter reset was successfully done. And then I just had to reprogram two keys that existed with the car. I just reprogrammed them to the car and then the car started right away and after that only thing that I had left on was the tire pressure monitor um, sensors we had to relearn them to the car so I used the hotel uh, small hotel tool the uh, TPMS tool uh, to easily just um, reprogram the TPMS sensors to the car after that um, there was no more lights on the dash everything was working fine there were no more codes on the car so to conclude the whole programming uh, basically first we left the first module in the car we started off with the FJDS and we just got into the programmable module installation it read some information off the module and then at one point it told us to remove the original module from the car and install the new module into the car after that it wrote some new information into that module whatever they copied from the old module and after that um, we did it as built data because it was telling us to do an as built data as well right after the program of module installation process and then right after that we went to the as built data and um, we did do the, uh, the as built data um, after that what we had left was uh, basically um, adapting the uh, BCM throughout the whole network of the car that's why uh, right after all the programming is done main programming is done um, we did not see any dash lights anything on the car so after running the two other functions from the uh, programmable parameters and um, which were the um, adaptation values of the car basically uh, uh, B BCM's network adaptations we just reloaded it in the car in two different sections which I showed on the video the first function and the last function which loaded all the proper network configuration for the car and after running those two functions uh, the car became came back alive and everything was on um, that was it after that only thing that was left was the parameter reset um, which I have done in the video after the parameter reset I just reprogrammed the two keys that came with the car and then the car started after that without a problem and then I just programmed actually the remotes as well which is very simple on and off the ignition about eight times and then just press any button on the key which will program the remotes automatically and then I did the tire pressure sensors, which was pretty easy using any kind of um, TPMS tool basically. And even if you don't have a TPMS tool on Ford vehicles, we can manually um, put the car on the uh, training mode. Um, there are some videos for that, which is very simple with some ignition cycles. And then you can just trigger each tires one by one with, a mag uh, with some triggering devices, which are very cheap. You can get a plug for 30 bucks off Amazon or online, anywhere you like and it will just program them to the car and that was it thank you guys for watching and um again guys i'm so uh, sorry i couldn't record some of the stuff but if you guys do have any questions i'll be more than try to help you guys out enjoy the rest of your day bye bye